Hey everybody, it's Posy here coming at you with another quick and easy guide to modding, this time for Dragon Age Inquisition, because better late than never, I guess. <laughs> Even though I'm almost done with my most recent playthrough of the game, this is one of my all-time favorite games to mod. So there are some amazing tutorials already out there, but I'm going to try to do my thing and hopefully find a balance between being detailed and also going fairly quickly through everything so that we can all get playing as soon as possible. With that said, if I go too fast or you only need one section of this video, just check out the description so you can jump to that chapter. There are also some links there as well, and while you're down there, it would be super cool if you subscribe. Uh, absolutely no pressure on that though, because that is lame. Uh, anyways, let's get to it. So for step number one, let's start with one of the best parts, picking your mods. And for that, you'll want to head over to the Nexus Mods website, who should really be paying me for plugging them as often as I do at this point. But this is really where you're going to find 99% of your mods. Sometimes for Inquisition, you can find an odd mod on Tumblr or an old blog post or something, but this is the place to be. So make an account if you don't already have one. And then you may also want to favorite the game once you find it so that it's more easily accessible up here at the games tab at the top. For selecting your mods, it's really up to you, but I typically start with the hot mods section. Even though the game is older, you'll also find that people are putting out mods even today. And then I typically look for something specific up here in the search bar. You know that I love a character creator, so I'm definitely going to track down some hairstyles. Personally, when I see something I'm interested in, I typically right click it and then open it in a new tab and then just keep it pushing until I have a list before I even start looking at the descriptions. But again, that's totally up to you. My canon character, Ashleen, is a solo villain, so I might also look for things like Solus, and then see what's out there, so on and so forth. Once you have a few mods you're interested in, make sure to read the description for important details, and maybe even check out the bug reports or the post section to see if it's easy to use or if it's been giving people trouble. But this is most important. You'll want to check what file format the mod is in before you download it, since there are two separate mod managers, DAI and Frosty. I'll show you how to use both in this tutorial, but this is why I actually like starting with the mods, because you might find that you only need one manager, and it's just easier to use one if you can get away with it. So if you're really only opening Frosty mods, then don't use DAI or vice versa. If you find that a mod gives you both versions, then you can make an educated choice. Personally, I think Frosty is easier to use and you can even load some DAI mods through Frosty, weirdly enough, but people are loyal to different ones for different reasons, and if you've never used either before, this backwards design thing kind of helps you make that choice. So the way you're going to check the format is to go to the Files tab, find the file you want to download, for instance, we're looking here at this hairstyle I want, at the bottom go to Preview File Contents, and if the file ends in .dai mod, then it uses DAI Mod Manager. If it says .fbmod, that one will use Frosty. So once you're ready to download the file, select Manual Download. This one is telling us to get the Mod Manager, which we'll grab in a second. But then I'm just going to leave all of these mods in my download folder while I get everything else set up. And this is a bit extra, but I also like to keep a mod list in a Google Doc because not only does it make things easier to share my mod list with y'all, but it also helps me stay organized because even though I can see them in the mod manager, they may not be named the same thing, or I can just look at the URL for easy access to read up on it, find if there's a conflict, a different version. Um, but again, that's totally up to you. So this might be a good moment to pause the video and download all your mods before we jump into using the managers. All right, let's start with DAI Mod Manager. If you're using this manager alone, or if you're using it along with Frosty, you'll want to start with this one since it will affect base game files. If you're only using Frosty, you can skip this section completely. I've provided the link in the description, so after clicking the choice for your system, in the upper right hand corner, click the download symbol. Then in your downloads folder, right click and extract all. If you don't see an extract option, you'll need a program like 7-Zip to open it up, which again, I've provided the link for that too, just in case. Once extracted, you are going to move these, but let's first make some folders to keep ourselves organized. I put everything on my desktop, that way it doesn't get buried anywhere on my PC. So on my desktop, say hi to the Theron family, then right click, go to new, folder, and then I name it DAI modding. In that folder, you're going to create two other folders, 
one titled DAI Mod Manager, and another called DAI Mods. And we'll get to the rest of the contents of this folder here in a moment. But for now, let's move the Mod Manager files we extracted into the matching Mod Manager folder. This is where the actual application, the Mod Manager EXE itself, will be housed, which we'll run in a moment. But let's also deal with this other folder we created, the DAI Mods folder, which is where, you guessed it, all of your DAI mods will go. So back over in our downloads, we can extract those .dai mod files now, just like we did before, and move them to the mod folder. For ease of use, I like to right click and pin the DAI mods folder we created to the quick access bar here on the left to make it easier to just drag and drop all the mods. So you'll repeat the process for as many mods as you want to load in, extracting, dragging and dropping, and then cleaning up our downloads folder as we go until all of your mods should end up in the mod folder like so. But before we actually run the manager, there is one more vital step. We need to find our patch folder, which mine is under program files 86, steam, steam apps, common, Dragon Age Inquisition, update, and your patch is in there. This unmodded base game patch folder is super essential to running your mod manager and just your game correctly, and we are about to tamper with it. So we need to make a copy of it to keep in a safe place. So right click the patch, copy, and before we leave here, let's also pin the update folder to quick access since we'll come back here shortly. And finally, paste our patch in the DAI modding folder we created on our desktop. And you'll notice I actually did it twice, so you'll see I have one called patch and one called patch copy, just in case I mess something up at some point. I also have two other folders in here that I've yet to mention, uh, one for unused mods and another for just pictures of hair because I'm crazy. Those are totally unnecessary. Don't be like me. Just make sure that you have your manager, your mods, and then one or two copies of your patch and you'll be good to go. And now we are finally ready to run the manager. In the manager folder, double click the application. And since this is the first time you're running it, you'll have to set your game EXE location, which it should find automatically, but mine is under the same Steam apps common path that we just followed to find our update. And we also need to tell it where to find our mods, which if you did it like I showed you, it's under desktop, DAI modding, and then DAI mods. Then we should see all of our mods ready to go. We can always reorder them by clicking the up or down arrows if we think there will be a conflict, remembering the save the best for last rule, meaning whatever mod is lowest on the list will get priority. And when you're ready, hit merge. It will take a little while for it to process, but in this window, it will tell you if there are any issues and eventually you'll get your merged patch. Close out of that and then you're almost there. One final step, go to that update folder we pinned and now you'll see Mod Manager Merge Patch, which we just created. But we need to trick the game into thinking this is the original patch. So delete the patch. This is why we made a copy of it or copies of it earlier. And then rename the merged one to just simply patch. And now. Finally, we can queue up the game. Just keep in mind that every time you want to add a mod through DAI Mod Manager, you'll have to put the original patch back in that update folder to start from scratch because the Mod Manager will not remerge with an already merged patch. So copy that patch from your modding folder, delete the merged one, and paste the original back in before running the Mod Manager again. If you forget, the manager will just throw this error message at you to remind you. And I know that's a lot of steps, but there are some mods that will only run with this manager, like the voice set workaround, so now my elf will actually grunt with the American accent. Which, yes, is a weird thing to care about, but still. And now on to Frosty. You can download the newest version of this manager from September of 2023 using the link I provided in the description. Just scroll down until you see Frosty Mod Manager zip. And once it's downloaded, right click and extract all using 7-zip if you need it. And once you have this folder, you can move it to your desktop just so it stays in a safe place and doesn't get lost on your PC. Mine is over here, right between Sten and Zevran, and in it you'll find your Frosty Mod Manager application. 
The first time you run it, it will take a while to find all the files it needs, but then you just have to tell it where to find your game exe. If it doesn't find your game automatically, you can have it scan for games or put in the location manually, and then just select Dragon Age Inquisition. And we're ready to load in some mods. So you will see that I already have a lot of mods loaded in here on the left that are inactive. And I already have some active mods over here on the right. But for practice, let's load in a mod from scratch. So in my downloads, I will right click and extract the .fb mod. And then I just drag and drop the mod directly onto the left side of the mod manager itself. We'll know it worked because the description will pop up. Some people have said that they've had better luck with hitting add mods and then adding them from there, but I've never had a problem with the drag and drop method and it's pretty easy. We can even load in some DAI mods through Frosty Manager, which I know sounds counterintuitive because they use different managers, but trust me, sometimes it works. Let's clean up our downloads now and we see here that we have an extracted mod for a hairstyle that is in the .DAI mod format. But again, it'll work fine and frosty. We'll just get a little message that says that it's for a different version. Um, but hairstyles and cosmetic mods are typically totally fine. .dai mods that I haven't had success with in Frosty are things like armor textures and more intensive gameplay mods. But there is frequently a Frosty version of most of those mods anyways. Uh, and before we queue up the game, we will need to move the mods we want to use from the left side to the right side just by double clicking them. And then we can click the up or the down arrow to reorder them if needed. And when we have our mod list ready to go, make sure to launch through Frosty. It will take just a moment and you might get some pop-ups asking you for access. Like here, I got one from Steam. So I just grant access by clicking continue. And if everything's good, the game will load. We might have to run to the Black Emporium or go to a specific shop to buy a weapon or schematic, but all the content should be in the game, like this hairstyle we just added for Ash. We'll oh, I just realized this scene far. is from an episode I haven't cut together yet. Shoot, okay, uh, look away. I'll cut to Mira. Uh, so now a few troubleshooting tips for the good of the order. First off, if you want to run Frosty and DAI Mod Manager together, just make sure to run DAI first, get your patch set up, and then launch through Frosty. You can always change out your mods in Frosty without having to change out your patch, but DAI always must be run first. I think of it as the DAI mod manager is the cake and Frosty is the icing. We can always scoop off all the frosting from the cake and change the flavor, but we can't change the ingredients in the cake once it's made. So we have to start from scratch to make the cake, the merged mod manager patch, before adding the frosting, i.e. Frosty. Wait, is that why it's called that? No, that makes no sense. Okay, other troubleshooting tips. So if you're getting a wonky texture or an infinite loading screen or sudden crashes to desktop after adding a mod, you can always go through your list to single out which mod is causing the problem, but it might also just mean that you need a special mod to get them to work nicely together, like one of Padme 4000's or Demetrius's glitch fixes, which are total lifesavers and you should definitely endorse. Or maybe it's your load order that's the problem. For instance, I have this Isabella piercing mod and also also a retexture of that mod here, so the retexture has to come after the piercing mod for it to show up. When it comes to troubleshooting like that, or even if you need help finding out where your EXE is located, if you're not using Steam, or whatever it is, I am totally happy to help find the solution with you, so please leave me a comment and I'll get with you to help as soon as I can. And that's about it. If this video was helpful, please subscribe to my channel, and I hope you have so much fun playing a modded Inquisition game.